All right, let's talk coronavirus treatments. There's recently been a lot of buzz on the internet about something called convalescent antibody serum. But what exactly is this? Well, for starters, I could tell you that it's part of a treatment called passive antibody therapy, which was invented some 130 years ago. But what exactly is this and how does it work? Passive antibody therapy takes a part of the blood called the convalescent serum from a patient who's recently recovered from a disease such as COVID-19 and transfuses it into the blood of a patient who currently has the disease right now. To understand why this works, let's quickly review the body's response to a virus. When a foreign invader, such as a virus, enters our body, it's met with our body's primary defense mechanism, the immune system. The immune system will send out white blood cells to fight the virus, but in order for the white blood cells to actually fight, they must create something called an antibody. You could think of it kind of like the white blood cells being the immune system's soldiers. They need to have weapons, or antibodies, in order to kill the virus and win the war. But, you could imagine that gathering intelligence and creating a brand new weapon might take quite some time, during which the virus could be doing much damage to the body. Luckily for us, about 130 years ago, scientists found out that the antibodies will stick around in the blood of a cured patient for a short while. And this is how passive antibody therapy was born. We could take a part of the blood of a recently recovered patient called the convalescent serum that has high levels of antibody in it and transfuse that into the blood of a recently sick patient. In this way, the sick patient does not need to create their own antibodies, but will get them all from the donor and get a head start in the war against the virus. Although this therapy is really cool, there are a couple of drawbacks. First, it could take quite a lot of convalescent antibody serum to treat someone. Although we don't know the exact numbers, it is possible that it would take the blood of more than one recovered person to actually treat one sick patient. However, as more and more people recover from COVID-19, finding a donor will be easier and easier. The second drawback is that this technique might be very time consuming and expensive. And this is because after the blood is donated and screened for infection, the convalescent serum must be separated and tested for enough antibodies against COVID-19. Therefore, large scale mobilization might prove to be difficult. In any case, most experts agree that developing a safe and efficacious vaccine for COVID-19 will take at least 18 months. Clearly, we don't have 18 months. So passive antibody therapy might prove to be a good short term alternative. Furthermore, an alternative use of this therapy could be as a preventative measure, also known as prophylaxis. In this way, we can give a small dose of convalescent antibody serum to healthcare workers in high-risk groups in order to boost their immune system and protect them against COVID-19 in high-risk situations. As I mentioned, the use of convalescent antibody serum has been around for over 130 years and was actually used to treat patients during the 1918 Spanish flu. In the past two decades, it was used during the Ebola and H1N1 influenza outbreaks, as well as explored during the SARS-1 and MERS coronavirus outbreaks. So will convalescent antibody serum be effective against COVID-19? As of right now, we don't know. But as the pandemic moves forward, more and more case studies and clinical trials are being published addressing this as a potential treatment. And therefore, in the next few weeks, we should hopefully have an answer. And that's it. I really hope you enjoyed this video and found it helpful. If you did find it helpful, please give me a like and hit that bell when you subscribe. That way you're notified whenever I come out with a new video. And as always, have a great day.